In this code demonstration, we're going to take a look at the sample and size functions provided by the underscore JS code library. Now to make use of the underscore JS code library, you first have to include a reference to it inside of your web page. As you can see here, I've referenced it from a popular CDN, but you could also download a local copy to your development server and reference it from there as well. All right, so we're going to create an array of numbers here. There we go, one through nine. Now we're gonna take a look at the sample function. So var result underscore dot sample. Then I'm gonna specify my array. And then I'm gonna specify the number of numbers that I would like from my sample or the number of items. In this case, I'll say three. And then I'll say console dot log result, just like that. And then I'm gonna reload my page. And you'll notice I get the numbers three, eight, and two. So what does sample do? It basically goes into your array and it randomly picks the number of items that you ask for. So in this case, I got three, eight, and two. If I wanted to, I could say, just give me one of the items. And I could reload and I get six. Or I could say, give me seven items. And reload and I get seven items. Notice there are no repeats. So if I actually said, go ahead and give me all nine items, I'll actually get all of the items in the array in a random order, of course, but there are no repeats. So when sample pulls out a sampling of the array, it doesn't repeat any of the items. Once it pulls it, it removes it from the array in terms of pulling out the next sample. The last function we'll take a look at here is the size function. So let's say I've got an object, object, say first name, Eric, last name, Smith, and we'll say age uh, 21. We can use the size function to basically calculate the number of properties on this array. So I'm going to say console.log. In fact, let me move our other console log function up to here. So I'll say console log underscore dot size. And then I'm going to pass in my object. And we're going to reload our page. And we'll notice that the value or the outputted value is three because there are three properties on this object. Now, if I pass in my numbers array from the top, the value of size is going to be equal to nine. There we go. So we have the size function to calculate the number of properties on an object or the length of the, of the array. And we can also use the sample, um, the sample method to basically pull out a sampling of items from an array.